IgD antibodies have uh, delta heavy chain and they usually present in a form of a monover uh, and they contribute very less to the total serum antibodies that is about 0.2% and uh, in a monomer form you can see they have uh, two a light chain and a heavy chain. The heavy chain is composed of uh, one variable region and three constant region and uh, these IgD are present on the surface of B cell uh, in the blood and in the lymph and have a half uh, life in the serum of about three days. So the major function uh, is are as uh, B cell receptors and uh, they initiate the B cell immune response. So they are not involved in complement fixation or uh, they are also not transferred via placenta. IgE antibodies have epsilon heavy chain and they also occur in the form of a monomer. So here you can see a monomer of IgE which is composed of um, four constant region of heavy chain and that's why they do not have a hinge region and uh, they contribute about 0.002% of the total serum antibodies and they are generally uh, present bounded to the mast cell and the vessel cell throughout the body and they may also be present in the blood in a free form. So they have a half life of for two days in serum and they are the major antibodies involved in allergic responses and uh, possibly lysis of worm and uh, immunity to parasites. They are not involved in any complement fixation pathway or they, all know, they do not cross the placenta. This figure shows a structural comparison of the five different classes of antibodies. So let's uh, look at them one by one. As you can see, there is a hinge region or a flexible region present in IgG, IgD and IgA. However, it is absent in IgM and IgE. That is because they have an extra constant region of the heavy chain here and here. So IgG, IgG, IgD and IgA have three constant regions of heavy chain. Our IgM and IgE have four constant regions of heavy chain as shown here. So hinge region is present in IgG, IgA and IgD and it is absent in IgM and IgE. So this table shows the differences among the five classes of uh, antibodies. So here you can see the structural differences between the different classes like IgM is generally in the form of a pentamer and IgA is in the form of a dimer. Uh, IgG, IgE and IgD are present in the form of a monomer. So they are named according to the different um, heavy chains they have like mu, gamma, alpha, epsilon and delta and there are different valencies of each antibodies like IgM has 10 antigen binding sites for valency like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So monomeric uh, antibodies only have two antigen binding sites like 1 and 2 in case of IgG 1, 2 in case of IgE and 1, 2 in case of uh, IgD. Uh, as IgA is in the form of a dimer, so it has 1, 2, 3, 4 antigen binding site or valency. So out of these five, only IgG are the able to cross the placenta and provide protection to the fetus. So uh, IgM and IgG both have the ability to be involved in complement fixation and uh, this IgG also has the ability to bind to the phagocyte with the help of FC binding and uh, IgE are bounded to mast cells and basophils by means of FC region. So when we look at the functions of uh, these antibodies, so IgM is mainly involved uh, in complement fixation and uh, it is also can serve as a B cell receptor. So these are the first antibodies formed in any case of infection. So IgG is the one which is uh, involved in, uh, majorly in the secondary response or uh, memory and it helps neutralize the toxin and involved in opsonization 
and providing protection to the fetus. IgA is the one which provides protection form of uh, secretory material like in form in uh, tears, saliva, and claustrum or milk and mucus. So IgE is the one which is involved in uh, any allergic or anti-parasitic activity and the main function of IgD is uh, B cell as B cell receptors and activation of B cell response.